there, you play there, what is that? <laughs> How do you call that for music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse. <laughs> <laughs> As I walked into the open, up ahead of me I saw someone coming down the mountain, waving to me through the rain. We looked back and saw you coming. He said, let me explain. There'll be fields of plenty. There'll be As we came home from the war And like you we hadn't figured out What we were fighting for Call it duty, call it honor Love of country or revenge We have seen enough of killing We just want some peace again There'll be fields of plenty There'll be I am told, oh, I realize you must walk alone. I will walk this trail beside you to your home. I'm still walking through that valley, getting closer to my home. I'm so glad you're with me, brother. Now I know I'm not alone. I see other men and women, all the wounded from this war. We will carry one another till we all get through that door. There'll be fields of plenty, there'll be streams of gold. There'll be smiling, happy children you can hold, you can hold. Though I realize you must walk alone. We will walk this trail together. We will walk this trail together. We will walk this trail together to where home. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. The show is Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin. Our guest today is political activist and songwriter George Mann. So nice to see you. It's been 10 so, years. Yes. We were last on the show, uh, 2000, it was roughly 10 years ago. You and Julius. Yes, my old buddy Julius, who I played with for about 12 years before uh, he passed away last August at 93 years old. And uh, can't say he went too young, you know. We had a good run with him, and he was a really wonderful, dedicated activist. And even Al Podber worked with us for a long time, who I know has played with you for many years. And we had a lot of fun with Julius and uh, really miss him. But uh, I still go around traveling and singing his songs and spreading the word about him and all his activism. Great. 
You want to tell us about that first song? Well, yeah, that was a song called Strings of Gold that I wrote, and it's on um, this project that I put together called Until You Come Home, a CD of songs for veterans and their kin. And it's all about the uh, trauma and the stress of combat and how combat changes the lives of not just the soldiers, but also their families. And it's a wonderful compilation album with a lot of great people on it. But it's also on my new solo album, which just came out a couple of weeks ago, too. Cool. And uh, it was inspired by a poem uh, actually written by a, a young veteran, a woman who wrote about these Vietnam era vets who have been doing so much good work to try to ease the transition for our younger soldiers coming back from the war after multiple tours and seven, eight years now of war in Afghanistan and Iraq. And what we want to do is kind of put the music out there to try to say, hey, we in the folk community are also thinking about you guys. Though we do oppose these wars generally, most of us do, unless you're country western singers. Uh, but, uh, but we do want to make sure that we, we, we let them know that we care about them and we want them home, but we also want to make sure that the community is aware of their sacrifice on our behalf. And that's why I wrote that one. You've got some big names with you on that compilation song. Um, CD. Uh, yes, yeah, some great people, uh, people we've come to know over the years. Since we saw you, we did a whole series of anti-Bush CDs called Hail to the Thief during the Bush era. I mean E-R-R-O-R, -R -R, not E-R-A. Um, <laughs> but uh, but um, yeah, and some of them even, you know, are on this new album, Tom Paxton, Magpie, the great, late, late great Utah Phillips, all good people and people who care about what we're doing and love to use their music as a tool to kind of educate and console and uh, inform people about the, the happenings of the day. So what would you like to do for us next? Well, I figured the next song I'll sing for you is a song that's from the new album. Um, the, the album I just completed about a month ago is called Songs for Jules and Bruce, Jules being Julius, of course, my longtime singing partner. And uh, there's a little photo of him over there on the, on, the, uh, on the table with the CDs. And he was just such a wonderful guy. And Bruce being the, uh, the given name of Utah Phillips. Bruce was uh, Utah's born name, and Utah was a, a name he took. And both of them were important mentors for me and good friends, too. And so a lot of the songs on this new album have a lot to do with them. I'm going to do a couple of them for you today. This is a song that's inspired by Utah. It's not about him. It's called Utah Sounds Fine. Not about Utah Phillips sounding fine, but about someone who Utah champion, those people down on their luck, the hobos, the, the many cases veterans, as you may know, 30% of our homeless are veterans. And uh, one of these people in this song, he's uh, someone who's so down on his luck, he's thinking, well, gee, I can't find a job anywhere else. Maybe going to Utah sounds like a good idea. That's desperate. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought Utah fellows would appreciate that joke, and I wrote it about a month or so after he died, in tribute to him, but not about him per se. It's called Utah Sounds Fine. Maybe Portland's my goal Oh, the green rolling hills of West Virginia They say Houston's got soul Santa Fe in long nights of winter Maybe all of the dreams I'm chasing Lie around the next corner But there's so many turns and there's so many roads And I know I can't stay here forever While the world's spinning out on my town But from all that I know and all that you've shown me Utah sounds fine Choices and money Get a job, you old boy Why would if someone Would just hire me Maybe all of the dreams I'm chasing Lie around the next corner But there's so many turns And there's so many I 
can stay here forever while the world's spinning out on my town. But from all that I know and all that you've shown me, Utah sounds fine. Utah's sounding fine. But running away, Utah. Maybe all of the dreams we're chasing lie around the next corner. But there's so many turns and there's so many roads. And I know I can't stay here forever while the world's spinning out on my time. Sounds fine. Utah's sounding fine. But running away, hey, Utah's sounding fine. I'm gonna catch that train, Utah's sound. Nice one. Thank you. It's um, it's fun playing the songs unplugged, you know, but uh, in the recording studio, there's a wonderful band of musicians that I play with and have for many years. And you know some of them, Alan Podgren, Miriam Valley sings on many of the songs, and even Julius is on the new album because we recorded some of it before he passed away last year. So um, that's one of the songs I really love. I have a wonderful bass player and drummer, and uh, Mark Ross, who played with Utah for many years in the Rose Tattoo Group and accompanied Utah also performs on that song on the, on the record. So I love doing the songs alone because it's the way you write them. But I also, I miss having the band with me because of course there's so much <laughs> more you could add with harmonies and solos and drums and bass and all that. They probably wouldn't fit in this room though. <laughs> well, we fit some pretty, pretty um, big groups in here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, but uh, Utah and Julius both are very good influences and, and really wonderful people uh, in my life and I miss them dearly. And so that's kind of why I, I wrote a lot of songs and did a lot of songs that were influenced by them on the new album. Great. Well, are you going to do another one of them? Uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. But the next song I want to sing you is uh, another song about war, kind of, but about the children. And uh, it's an older song. It goes back to a, a few years ago, an album I did with Julius uh, back around 2003. And this song is called This Beautiful Child. And I, I wrote it when um, my friends had their first baby up in Quebec. And I went to the christening and I wanted to write a song for the christening, but it, it just wouldn't come out, you know? It just doesn't happen when you want it to, you know, sometimes. And uh, by the time I finally wrote it, about a year later, we'd already invaded Afghanistan and the uh, invasion of Iraq was coming. And, uh, and you know, the collateral damage to, to continues to this day, right? We're still bombing and killing innocent civilians and children. And uh, all of the, that blood is on our hands as far as I'm concerned because we didn't stop Bush and Cheney from starting these wars and unfortunately Obama's continuing them. But this beautiful child is a song that I wrote kind of with that in mind saying, as much as our children are precious, as much as we love our children, we think that they are so special. Those children on the other side, even if their parents hate our freedoms, the kids are innocent. And every time we kill one of those children, that diminishes us just a little bit more. And so that's what this next song's about. It's called This Beautiful Child. a blanket close against her baby's tiny head, a sign of her devotion to the lamb child. Sorry, let me sing that again. She holds a blanket close against her baby's tiny head, a sign of her devotion to the life within her hands. 
she sings to sings with the fullness of her faith faith in the potential of humanity and grace the world is full of love the world is full of hate but maybe we could all agree start over today this beautiful child shall not know hunger this beautiful child shall not know hate this beautiful child shall not see war or man's intolerance or make the same mistakes we clock and he's lying with a baby in his bed. The little wolf stops crying and the dreams enter his head. And he sings now, sings like a daddy only can. In Quebec, Iraq, the USA or in Afghanistan. The world is full of love. The world is full of could all agree start over today this beautiful child shall not know hunger this beautiful child shall not know hate this beautiful child shall not see war or man's indifference or make the same mistakes we I'll make the same mistakes we made This beautiful child So full of wonder Sees only love Knows only joy So we must vow That we will all walk with these children To build a world that's better than we find it now and work to see this child won't be let down and work to see this child won't be let down and work to see this child won't be let down all right all right thank you like that one Thank you. Yeah, it's the magic of writing. It's a really, and I, and I don't mean this in an egotistical way. I, I, I talk about writing in the, way, the same way many of the great songwriters do. It's like that uh, you just can't explain it. I don't take credit for them. I, they come out of the air and they, they come at certain times. And that one came in a campground in Moran State Park, all the way out in Washington State, out on the, the uh, Orcas Island, actually, I was camping. And it was early one morning, and I finally got up and I said, This song has to get written. And it did, as the sun was coming up, and I sat there by this wonderful little lake, and all the steam was rising off of the sun was coming up that morning. And uh, as I said, if I hadn't been there that morning, I don't think that song ever would have come. And that's a song that uh, a lot of grandmothers come up to me at concerts and say, which album is that one on? <laughs> they want to <laughs> give it to their kids, you know, uh, or, or, or to pregnant women. You nice. Know. Yeah, so... Uh, we should let folks know how they can find out more about your recordings and the compilations and the uh, touring schedule. Oh, sure. I, I do a lot of traveling now, uh, and I'm out on the West Coast a lot, but also on the East Coast. Um, I, there's two websites, if it's okay to give the names, sure. or, or and then my email. You can reach me at george at georgeman.org is the email. Uh, georgeman with two n's dot org. The website is georgeman.org. Uh, and the Veterans album has its own website that we put together called UntilYouComeHome.com. That's the name of the album. So just www.UntilYouComeHome.com. And they can reach me. And uh, my phone number, uh, I think they're going to post. So that's wonderful, 923-6372 in New York. And uh, I, I'll come out and play for any good cause. Great. Mm -hmm. What else would you like to play for us? Well, um, the next one I want to sing for you is another one of these sad ones from the Veterans album and, and tied into Julius and Utah and all our veterans. I, I sing a lot for Veterans Homes, Ralph, and uh, something that Julius and I started doing 10 years ago and uh, all over the country, but primarily upstate New York. There's three of them that I sing pretty regularly at. 
And uh, it just happened to me last week. I went up two weeks. Uh, I had been up about a month ago, and I went up last week, and, and I got there, and I saw the sign, you know, on the veteran's home, and I look at the names of who's passed. They, it's called TAPS, and it's always posted who's passed in the last week. And two of my really good buddies, two different guys I've known for many years there, who uh, Julius and I knew had both passed in the last week since I'd been there. And so this song was written for Julius when he was passing, when he was close to death. And also I was thinking a lot about Utah Phillips, who had also just died the year before. And it's called Welcome Home. You know, uh, soon, 10, 15 years from now, there'll be nobody left to remember what World War II was like, right? Uh, we've already lost all our World War I veterans. And it's kind of saying, hey, you've lived a great life. It's OK now. Go home, wherever that be, above, below, into the ether. In Julius's case, as we spread his ashes on the Hudson River and we floated out to sea which is what he'd asked for. So this song is called Welcome Home. And uh, again, you know, kind of for both Julius and Utah, but also for all of our older veterans. The drugs are kicking in and your breathing is slow. The doctors all say in a day could go. Your hands are too weak to even pick up the phone. And you know that can't be called living. There's a far away look I've never seen in your eyes. There's a knowledge the future holds no surprise. And there's a chorus of angels when an old soldier dies that gathers around him to sing Welcome home Welcome home What a life you have led What a story you've told Welcome home Welcome home Now the word's going out that you caught your last train. All the years of hard rambling and in this sad refrain. And only those who've known struggle could ever explain. And they rise and salute for to greet you. There's a far away look I've never seen in your eyes. There's a knowledge the future holds no surprise and there's a chorus of angels when an old soldier dies that gathers around him to sing welcome home welcome home what a life you have led what a story you've told I'm never alone. Welcome home. Welcome home. What a life you have left. What a story you've told. Welcome home. Thank you. Thanks, Ralph. And thank you, everybody. Well, we've got about four minutes to go in the show, so is there I guess we're going to do a closing song together, huh? You're going to pull out that harmonica for me? Sure enough. A little G-harp? Well, first off, thank you, and thank you to your crew and everybody doing the filming and the work behind the scenes here. It's so great to be on your show again after 10 years, and uh, I wish you continued good health and keep fighting and singing, and uh, otherwise I hope people will check me out on my website and uh, you know, keep an eye out for me because I do come around. and uh, I'm in the New York and Jersey area a lot. GeorgeMan.org. Yes, thanks so much, Ralph. And we're going to go out and take this capo out. This is a song that we closed the show 10 years ago with you. 
uh, when we were on it with Julius, and it's a, a great song by Joe Hill, the wonderful wobbly folk singer for the free speech fight in Spokane, Washington in 1910. He wrote this song when they banned free speech because the organizers of the Wobblies were trying to organize the lumber industry. And they sang this song in the streets of Spokane until they overthrew that ordinance by having so many people arrested they had to turn it over because they knew that they couldn't afford to jail and, and guard all those people by the hundreds. And this is to the tune of Sweet By and By. Sing along if you know it. It's called Long Head Preachers Come Out Every Night Try to tell you what's wrong and what's right how about something to eat? They will answer in voices so sweet. You will leave by and by, by, and by in that glorious land of all the sky. Way, Way up, up high, 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 work and pray. Live on hay, live on hay. Y'all get high in the sky when you die. That's, That's right. For starvation army they play. And they sing and they dance and they pray. And they'll tell you when you're on the run. You will eat by and by, by and by. In that glorious land above the sky. Way up high, high work, work and pray. Live on hay. Live on hay. You'll get pie in the sky when you die. Why? If you work hard for children and wives, try to get something good in this life. You're a sinner and the bad man they tell. When you die, you will sure go to hell. But you will leave, you will leave. By, and by, by and by in that glorious land of the sky. Way up high, work and pray, work and pray. live on hay. Live on hay. You'll get high in the sky when you die. That's the right. Take it off.